Welcome back. Uh, so in this video, we're going to do an example and we're going to create a function that we're going to name find max. And it's going to be, the logic is going to be quite simple. Okay. But it's going to look a little different than what we've seen in the examples so far. In this example, we're going to have two inputs come in to the function. Okay. And we can have any number of inputs that we would like. I'm going to call the function find max okay and we're going to have an output come out and effectively what the output is is if this is our a b that the output is the maximum of the result of this is going to be whatever the larger number is out of those two okay so we'll assume that we're going to stick with all integers here we'll have an int a int b and the output here will be an integer okay now that allows us to define our function header, okay, where we have an output as an integer, okay. We're going to call the function find max, and we're going to have our two inputs, and I'm going to call them A and B, call them whatever you want, okay. And that's really the first step with any function, right, is to just determine um, you know, what are the inputs, what are the outputs, and what's a meaningful name, okay? You tend to want the functions to be designed to do one clear task, okay? And if a task has multiple parts, right, if you're trying to, that you tend to want to break those up into smaller functions. Okay. Um, now, the logic for this is going to be quite simple, okay? The logic is going to be in this function that effectively, now you could write it a couple different ways, but we can have a variable called max and we could just pick one of the uh, values that we're going to assume is the largest. Okay. And if we're wrong with that assumption, right? If B, okay, and is larger than either, in this case, we could say A or max, whatever we want. That's the same thing because they're the same value. Right, we kind of assume max is A. If we're wrong, we're gonna set it to B. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and return max. Okay, so here we look at the um, completed version of it. Okay. It's the same logic. The, we also have the main function written as well that prompts the user for two inputs. Okay. And just following up on a previous, uh, you know, the way that we want to look at this is remembering that we've got our main function scope. Okay. Where we have in that scope, we have A, B, and max, right? Those are all declared in that function scope, the main function scope, okay? Let's imagine uh, for the sake of argument that the user enters five for A and 10 for B, okay? We're gonna initialize those as five and 10, okay, based on the scanf function, okay? And then when find max is called, Right, we pass in A and B into the find max function. Okay, and for the function scope there, we also have A, B, and max. Okay, same names, but they're different variables. Okay, A, Find max A gets initialized to the A from the main function scope. Okay, so we're gonna have this happen. Okay. And um, we have our logic here, right? So max gets set to A down here. It's set to A, so 5, and then we say, well, is 10 greater than 5, which it is, so then we hit this line, 
right? So max gets set to 10, okay? And then we're returning max, okay? And because when we return max, because we're setting this max down here equal to that, that result, okay, this returns value 10. So we're gonna return up here 10, okay, and print out 10. Right. Now, keep in mind, right, now, I, I'm showing this as an example that the variable names, so we're, we're done with that example, right? But just to want to point out that if we change the names, right? Um, if I had called this, you know, instead of A and B, if I called this input one, input two, okay? As long as we change the names everywhere else accordingly in here, Okay, it's gonna work the same way, right? Um, we could ch they don't have the names don't have to match, right? Um, it's just whatever names you want to give them, they're effectively different variables. So if this was input one and input two, all right. I show the names. I showing the example where the names are identical, just so you can understand that they're different variables. That you see it that way, and understand that's a valid way to do it. But they're still different variables and different function scopes. However, they don't need to be the same name. You can name them whatever you want as long as it's a valid variable name, okay? Um, as we saw in a previous video, okay? Now I'm gonna keep this video short, uh, just covering the find max function, but we will have another video that shows a slightly different example um, using functions in the next video.